Hi guys, Paul here from Studio One Expert. In this tutorial, we're going to look at a trick for quickly tempo mapping a session to a live performance. And I found an interesting technique that allows one to tap along to the audio, slicing it on the beat in the process, and then using a custom macro, chop the tempo track up on every quarter, then manually sync the cuts. It builds from a tutorial rusted for this site a while back, and this allows us to tempo map any track almost as fast as you can listen to it. I've been using this technique quite a lot lately. I find it absolutely fantastic. Here we have a live recording of a Rodrigo y Gabriela song that I want to sync to the project metronome. The tempo is anywhere around one, two, five, but as it's not been recorded to a click, it drifts in and out of that tempo slightly. So import the audio and make sure that when you do, that the track inspector for that audio is set to don't follow because if this is set to follow or time stretch, it will mess us up in a later step. So for this supercharged tempo mapping technique to work, we have to set up two things. First, a custom keyboard shortcut that allows us to slice the audio as we listen to it. We're gonna to need to assign a key command to slice an event at the playback marker. So go into the keyboard shortcuts menu and find split at cursor under edit. As you can see, I have this assigned to the backtick key, which for me was not being in use. Second, download and install the custom macro split each bar. That link will be in the description of the video. And this macro will split an event at every bar for 130 bars. We're gonna use it to chop up the tempo track on the quarter beat. And it saves a hell of a lot of time making cuts by hand. So now that we've got those two things set up, let's take a look at the project. Um, here I have 16 bars of MIDI drums I want to sync with the track. Right now the drums and the guitar are pretty much way out. Let's take a listen. Um, okay, let's mute those drums for the moment so we can focus on the guitar. We're going to split the guitar track on every quarter by tapping along to it using the key command that we set up earlier. So we rewind to the start, select the clip by clicking on it once, hit play and as soon as you do, start tapping along. <laughs> Now we have the track cut where each downbeat falls and this will serve as a reference later. Now open the tempo track. We need to engage a bit of subterfuge for this to work. So since the song is in 4-4 time, our basic beat unit is the quarter note. We therefore need to chop up the tempo track into quarters. So to do this, set the time signature to 1-4, so one bar being equal to one quarter note. Now select the tempo event by clicking it once and then run the macro, split each bar. Now that has split the tempo track into quarter notes 130 times, as you can see. Now we can set the time signature back to 4-4. Four four. Now that we have both the tempo track and the audio clip sliced on every quarter beat, all that's left to do now is align the cuts. You can do this using control or command click and drag or by using the mouse wheel while a tempo block is selected. So let's see how that works. Zoom in a bit. We can see that the beats are misaligned. So let's move them back into line. Move them back into line. And we continue this for the whole song. If you want to save yourself a bit of time or if the song is very tightly recorded, you can leave the time signature at 4-4 and just sync the downbeats of the bar if you want. So we'll skip this part up. And right now I'm using the mouse wheel. 
So all we're doing is syncing the cuts. So let's take a listen to that. Okay, hopefully you find that useful now. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.